like reading. I like reading. I like reading books. So today's Wednesday. The creepy and the kooky, mysterious and spooky. I'm reviewing a book called The Adderall Diaries, written by Stephen Elliott. And um, today's book review is very special for several reasons. Number one. Um, it's raining outside. I've been eating a lot of uh, these. They're really, really good pretzels. And um, we don't have food in our apartment, and I don't want to get soaked. So I've ended up just eating a lot of pretzels. And then I've been drinking a lot of water. And so it's like expanding in my stomach. These are bread. Second thing is I'm filming this book review in HD on my flip. So we're reaching new levels of pixelation. Third thing that's cool about this, today's book review marks the first time that um, I'm going to feature an interview with the actual author of the book. How dope is that? I'm so happy. Seriously, that is awesome. Stephen Elliott, much love to you for uh, coming out, <laughs> meeting me at the park, and then filming an interview with me. The Adderall Diaries is a super unconventional memoir, but... It's, I found it to be so original in the way that it was written and, and super captivating. Like, it just drew me in. I was like a little bass fish, you know, being... <laughs> Shout out to Catherine in New York. Barakura. There's sort of three plot lines going on in the book all simultaneously, and they kind of, they weave in and out. You know, it's like those speed skaters. I'm doing a hundred on the highway. We've got this one plot of, of a murder trial which is, and it's, it's an actual murder trial that happened in the Bay Area, and Stephen's kind of following that, and then in addition, he's dealing with his relationship with his dad and his past, like his youth growing up. And the third thing is sort of his present day life, trying to write this book, his relationships with women, um, and all that, all that stuff kind of like comes together to form the Adderall Diaries. I'm gonna turn things over to the interview with Stephen Elliott. We're gonna apparate to a garden Okay, so welcome to the first ever installment of like a author interview, book review, K Play Super Edition. So my first question is, how did you decide on the Adderall Diaries for the title? The book started when uh, I had writer's block for like a year and a half, and I had also stopped taking Adderall, which I had been taking for years. I kind of gave up on writing something publishable or anything like that, or even worrying about that. I was just totally suicidal. Yeah. You know, it didn't, it didn't matter, you know? Yeah. So instead, when I, uh, when I started taking Adderall again, because if you're feeling, like, suicidal anyway, then, you know what <laughs> I mean? Go for it. Yeah, there's no point in, like, being, like, healthy. Right. You know, like, I'm just going to eat that chocolate. I don't care. Chocolate rain. You know, I'm going to have a steak, too. So I started taking Adderall again, hoping it would help, and I just started documenting it, you know? And so right off the bat, it was called The Adderall Diaries, but it was really just a document I was creating. It wasn't a book. Backwards hat or sideways hat? Well, I don't know. I'm more of a hoodie person. I'm oh, a hoodie person. Hoodie. Yeah. Hoodies up. Price is right or Family Feud? Family Feud. It's... I have no reason for that. <laughs> this is a very honest book. It feels like very you know, whether or not the truth can ever be known, it feels like you're making sort of the most sincere effort. It feels honest, but the thing about honesty is that uh, honesty is always bordered by self-knowledge. I know that in the book The Adderall Diaries, I'm trying very hard to be honest. I'm trying to uh, uh, get, it, get it some kind of truth, but in the end, um, I don't, I don't really believe that, like, perfect honesty is possible. Kind of, you know, in the book you talk a lot about how the murder trial, like, and things that are going on in your own life and your own past, like, end up weirdly, like, weaving together. Was that, like, that was, so it seems like it was unexpected, kind of. Yeah, but except that, like, everything you're interested in weaves together, ultimately. That's true. You know, like, you start to see these parallels right. between, um, you know, Hans Reiser and my own father. Um, all these false murder confessions, right. uh, you know, which was an unbelievable, oh, like which this, I had no idea. like Law and Order SVU. 
you know, I had all these identity issues because I've been writing these books. It's my seventh book. I've written a lot about growing up in group homes and like leaving home when I was 13. In my mind, like, here's this abusive father, you know, who right. shaved my head and handcuffed me to a pipe. And in his mind, here's this like spoiled kid that could have come home anytime he wanted. Right. And so we start there. And then over the years, we just go further and further apart. Yeah. And I realized it was really important for me to accept his side of the story. I had to stop trying to get him to accept my side of the story. Like, if I was going to be happy, I had to understand where he was coming from. Checkers or chess? Oh, chess. I used to play chess competitively. I was, like, oh. in high school, I was number six in Chicago. Oh! I was, like, in the, in the ghetto league. In, like, okay, Chicago, okay, Bobby Fischer. Shoot. Chicago. Extremely oversized jeans or spandex? On women? Any, just generally. On oh, women's spandex. <laughs> okay, <laughs> men. Oversized jeans. <laughs> okay, the very last one. Lil' Kim or K-Flay? K-Flay? Of course. <laughs> you kidding? I stacked the rapper. deck. I stacked the deck on that one. You know, oh, yeah. take me to the limit, get your feelings, and yeah. keep me wide open while I'm coming down your throat. And, Oof. You know, Lil and Kim. I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> That's me tonight, bro. I'm K-Flay, Stephen Elliott. We out. You must have been sent up a space job. D-D-D-D-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J-J